Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, Day of Chanel 48 World, where we're going to be doing another segment of Get to the Point. Get, get to the point. Get to the point. Get, get to the point. Get to the point, Day of Chanel 48 World. I'm coming at you right straight with no chaser. I got it from Blast, Blast blogging site, magazine company. Uh, really entertainment news segment that they give us. We're going to be talking about Beyonce and this lady named Veronica Morales. I don't know what the story is, pretty much. You know, it's just coffee banter. Just at the table, just having a little light banter because I'm kind of confused. If this woman is giving me such a hard time to be able to trademark my daughter's name and the only thing she's asking for is 10 million dollars i'm like okay let me go to the bank how you want it in coins dollars gold what do you want because i got it okay i got it we just popping up bottles and throwing money in the air that's right i make a tree i go pluck my own bills off of it okay you 10 million that ain't nothing baby that ain't nothing when can you clear out so i can take your stuff put all the blue ivies uh, fashion in there and we'll just have it like a little ball gown type place okay since you want to do weddings we're gonna keep your little um theme going on but we're gonna have a lot of kids stuff in there too kids party wear kids um what do you call it prom wear or banquet wear or when they doing these little uh what do you call it um pageants we're gonna have all that it's gonna have a blue eye staple on it so she's gonna be an ass about giving me uh, a trade name that i want to uh put in my baby's name trademark her name so she can go and do big, bigger and better things as she get older since you're gonna make me pay okay i'll pay for it but you know what i'm gonna make a, a mockery of this mess that you have going on this wedding stuff we're gonna turn all your wedding ideas we're gonna just keep it and put our children wear in there Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna be getting married. But anyway, that's just my pun intended. That's how I just saw the thing because I thought it was quite hilarious. Out of all the time, out of all the money be has out there, she just gonna run this woman in the ground. I mean, is it that serious, Beyonce? Is it that serious? I mean, your father's over there fighting with cancer. Can we just pump the brace and go take care of him? Even though I know he did you and your mom and your sister dirty by going around here sleeping and carrying on allegedly with younger people, really y'all age, you and your sister's age, and, and having babies by them and just making a fool out your, your mama and y'all making y'all look bad out in them streets. But who win and who on top now? Mama got remarried, looking good, doing well, doing what she want to do out there with her new boo, all right? And ain't taking no mess off of him. Then you got Jay-Z in your pocket, pretty much. He ain't going nowhere. You dropping these babies like it ain't nothing. Who going to want them? After all, he got a whole baseball team behind him that you done brought to fruition, girl. Now you playing with the woman out there that done had her business for a good 10 plus years. Done been having blue eyes out there for wedding people. She been doing weddings for people and, you know, living that kind of life. And now you don't swoop down. You want to take it from that later. And at first she wasn't giving it to you. Now it seems like she's giving it to you. She said, just plop $10 million up in here. Put 10 here. Yeah, you probably paying about $10 million a month just to keep your lawyers on retainer to um, even be playing with this woman like that in these streets so i'm kind of confused but i wanted to touch on it just to see what my viewers felt about the situation because it just seems like it never goes away it dies down in the press for about a month or so i think you've been battling with this situation for about a year and a half now and that woman like mm -mm. and now you're trying to do a spin calling baby girl uh, uh icon or she's what what, what was it uh She's a iconic icon or something. It's almost like you're calling Baby Girl Blue Eye, but a legend. I'm like, now, wait a minute, Beyonce. Now, you might be a legend. You working your way to that status. 
But a legend is like Whitney Houston, Prince. You know, people had longevity in the business. I mean, baby girl, I ain't even lived her life yet. She just started now, and she definitely got a great, wonderful platform to be having two bosses up there. Big Jay-Z turning it up, and then you on the other side burning it up. I mean, she can't help but be successful. And her baby brother and her baby she got behind her, too. That ain't nothing but a money-making machine. You out here in these streets talking about you got to have blue ivy. I mean, can't we have ivy? Because you got ivy park out there, and that's blowing up. Everybody seems to be wearing it. It looks pretty decent uh, sportswear uh, type of uh, garments. Nothing wrong with that. Now, what you trying to do? Take it to a class level for young people? I mean, I guess you're going to be selling it to the uh, rich and famous because people like us or people such as myself. Let me just put my own stuff in now. I can't afford that kind of shit. I mean, you got Kanye West running around here selling socks for $50. No name brand on Just got his little staple. Seem look like some Hanes socks. So, you know, some good little durable socks. And then some of them people said it was cheap looking. But either way, they were socks. They were two socks. He was selling for $50. And, and, and his white t-shirt that you can get from Hanes too. Hanes underwear. You know what I'm saying? They make for women and women. Men. You can get that for like six in a pack for probably about ten dollars or something like that. He's trying to sell one t shirt, white t shirt, that ain't got that much good material in it for a hundred dollars. Like who y'all selling it to your own guy? Meaning the rich and famous because the people that the everyday working uh hard working Americans can't afford it. Okay, but let me take that back. I can't afford it. I don't know what my viewers can afford because they might be out there spending on a plain t shirt, a hundred or two hundred dollars just to have a name brand in there. Or they might want to pay $50 for a pair of white socks, okay? Just one pair. I ain't talking about a, a, a six in a pack. You know, like you go to the store, Walmart, or, or you know, any other, like, a, a super chain store like that. You know, maybe y'all can afford stuff like that, but I, I can't get down like that. And if I had the money, I ain't trying to pay it for like that either, okay? I'm on cheapskate, so I can have some when I'm not feeling well and I don't want to go to work. At least I know I got money. Excuse me. Money in the bank where I can go withdraw some funds to pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't ramble too long, too long with my opinion on the story. Because I'm kind of confused. I'm with y'all saying the way that I'm not with all. Like, girl, you could switch the name around. Can it be Ivy? Just Ivy? Just by Ivy? Could it be something like that? Can we, I mean, why it has to be Blue Ivy? Why you got to take this lady's idea, destroy it, and then put stuff in um little, little 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 girl's name and then she's gonna get older so I guess you're gonna upgrade her with her uh sta staple blue ivy uh, as she grow along I mean make it into a force 500 500 company or something for women I mean I don't I don't know and then she might she might not want her name she might want to have something else like you know, just because you named it, she might be like, well, my mom want my name. I mean, just because I, I don't know if that's you, mom. You know, because kids, they, they, whatever you try to put out for the forefront for your kids to follow, to go down that little straight line, you don't know, made for them to grow into and to follow. You know, the path is, all, is already set for them. They don't have a, a reason or rhyme to go from this straight from this pattern. This is where you want to go. Sometimes they just blow it up in our faces, Beyonce, and they be like, I don't want that. I don't want the entertainment life. I want to go out there and do something uh, philanthropy-ish, or I want to go save the world. You know, you never know. Our kids are strange. Things that we may think and see for them, they may be like, uh-uh, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I don't know. Uh, it might be a good business since now, but will it be later on when she gets into the uh, control sector where she's running her life? And, you know, I don't know if she's going to let you have that much say so. But I, I see where you're going, but I don't understand why you want to uproot or upset somebody else's bread and butter that they done made into a stample name. And she had this name before uh, Blue Ivy was born. So I don't know, B. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with this one because, you know, you're trying to make, you already self-made with your daddy put you out there, but then you kind of took like Janet Jackson control and you start going another way and you've been successful ever since. But then is it the same with this lady who's had her, uh, catering wedding planning business for umpteen years, at least 10 plus, uh, that she don't have the same desire to maybe uh, pass it down to her heritage, her lineage, 
or, you know, I don't know if the lady held babies, but she might want to, you know, pass it down to her child or her son, her daughter or son one day. Oh, I don't know. But let's get in this uh, article and read and see if we can find some understanding. And then, of course, we'll conclude the video and then you all can make your all uh, commentary or y'all comments in the comment section and tell me what y'all felt about this. Do you think Beyonce is just pushing and pressing the gas too much? She should just choose another name? Or should she just go on after this lady until she gets what she wants, okay? That's going to be my poll of the question for today. But let's get on into the article. It says um, it was written by a staff journalist by the name of Ryan uh Newman, okay, or Nauman, something like that. Uh he titled the article uh Beyonce's legal battle over Blue Ivy heats up. Wedding planner fires back at single. All right now. Oh, she giving Beyonce a run for her money. And you know Beyonce is lot loaded and ready to spray. You know she can't not play no games, okay? She don't thought this thing through. She her end game is to get Blue Ivy's name trademark and that's she won't sleep or eat until the thing is done, okay? That's my point of tenant. Don't really know if she's even paying a hell of a beans to this situation. <laughs> she just probably say, look, I want this done. Here's this much money. You have how many teams you got to go in and find a way for me to get that name. But, hey, you have until this designated time. And I want it done, okay? Money is not an option. That's what she probably saying. And she probably floating on her yacht somewhere, sailing the, the Mediterranean and keeping heads up. Well, probably a week check-in here and there, maybe a month check-in, just to keep her abreast of things, okay? Because she got that money. She got that long, long, deep money. I'm talking about that European, British type money, what she floating on. So, ain't no short stopping here. So, I hope um, Morales got the same type of deep pockets because... Beyonce will probably have her tied up with lawyer fees for so long. She gonna go bankrupt. She ain't gonna have nothing but to do is give Beyonce, uh, her her trademark name, okay? Cause she already done told Beyonce, so she must be feeling the heat. She already saying buy it out for ten million. I give it to you, sure will. But Beyonce said, I, I'm getting a lock, stock, and bear. I ain't paying you a damn thing, okay? <laughs> she up there saying, No, I'm paying my lawyer, baby. I ain't finna pay you either. But we'll see how it turns out. We will keep you abreast of the situation as it comes in. But let us get to this article. It says the wedding, uh, wedding planner fighting Beyonce in court is attempting to shut down the singer's claim that her daughter, Blue Ivy, is a cultural icon. Okay? Uh, according to court's documents obtained by the blast, Veronica Morales is responding to Bay's recent court filings in their nasty battle. Beyonce and Morales have been locked in a dispute over the trademark for years. Okay, so this ain't then just started um, for a couple of weeks and just, you know, been having, you know, going back and forth this and third. They've been fighting for years. So I don't know about this blue ivory name. It must be printed in gold or something. Or it's, it's traveling down a gold rainbow because these women are giving up. They fighting strong. Okay. But then we go back to the article. It says, Bay has been trying to get the trademark to her daughter's name, but Morales claims she has already been using it. They are scheduled to head to trial in the case. Okay. And then they show beautiful pictures of, you know, Blue Ivy and her mom. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm not going to show y'all because I don't like publicizing stuff of that nature. All right. But anyway, it goes on to say, Beyonce recently laid out her entire argument for being Granted the trademark, one of her arguments read, Blue Ivy Carter is a cultural icon who has been described as a mini or a mini style star, okay, and has been celebrated for her fashion moments over the years. Her life and activities are followed extensively by the media and the public. I'm like Beyonce, now you you just embellishing a lot now. And girlfriend, we know she got that Ivy Park clothing collection. But you don't show pictures of your girls unless you want them to be shown. Your children, I meant to say. Come on, girl. Now you kind of stretching that a little farther. We ain't got no many uh people running out there wanting to look like Blue Ivy. Girl, you girl, you trying it. You trying it. I see you, girl. I'm peeping game. I'm peeping game. 
That's why you got her exposed out here as much as you do. All right, try to make her that fashion icon. Okay, girl, I see you. I see you. Bag up your shit. Bag it up. Put it in print so they can't help but say, yeah, I've been seeing her. <laughs> you might want to put her in some commercial is what you want to do. I'm just saying, hint, hint, hint. Get that advertisement going, girl. Okay, but going back to the uh, article, it says further. Most significantly, well, most significantly, Blue Ivy Carter has achieved a significant amount of fame, particularly at such a young age. She also has a noted and well chronicled uh, interest in fashion. Okay, given these factors, Blue Ivy Carter is capable of and interested in becoming the face of a brand. For this reason, the factual contents demonstrates that BGK filed the application with the intent to build a brand around Blue Ivy Carter and her public reputation renown. Okay? Now, we already know her grandmama. She's into the fashion business. Um, uh, what was her mama name? Chloe Wolf. Shit, I can't think of her mama name. Say my life. Trina Knowles. Tina Knowles. Yeah, she had the Tina Knowles collection that was being featured at Walmart and... Um, they were K-Mall up, too. They probably were some other high-end stores, but just for the common folks, they had it in those particular uh, store markings where y'all could go and seek her fashions out. All right, but then going back to the article, it says, a newly filed court, uh, Morales attempts to shut down Beyonce's argument over her daughter. She writes, Beyonce's company is trying to skirt the law and recently argued that the seven-year-old Blue Ivy Carter is a cultural icon in the United States. According to Wikipedia, a cultural icon is an artifact that is identified by members of a culture as a representative of that culture, such as apple pie, baseball, and a United States flag. All right. And again, it shows more pictures of Beyonce and stuff. Um then it goes on to say, Morales continues, with all due respect, Blue Ivy Carter definitely is not a cultural icon. That would be someone like uh, Benjamin Franklin, Elvis Presley, or Marilyn Monroe. But why she got to say all white folks? Why she got to say no black folks up in there? Like Prince, James Brown, uh, who else? Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin. Okay, somebody like that. She could, she, oh well, she did what she could do, what she thought about blacks, I guess. But moving on, it says celebrities need to follow the law like everyone else. She is asking for Beyonce's trademark application to be denied. Okay, the whole situation started back in 2017 when Beyonce filed to lock down the rights to the trademark Blue Ivy Carter to make sure she had the exclusive use of her daughter's name. Soon after, Veronica Mar Morales, the owner of a wedding planning company named Blue Ivy, filed to oppose the single's application, demanding the pop star not allowed be not allowed to trademark the name. Okay, Morales company had been around three years before Beyonce's daughter was born. See, I told you it was a little over ten years. Okay, she pointed out in her opposition that Jay Z even spoke to Vanity Fair, admitting they had no intentions of using the Blue Ivy. Uh, mark to sell products, but wanted to prevent others from profiting on that name. Okay, and see, uh, uh, good night. JC should just hush his mouth. Okay, let women handle women's business. He don't know how catty we can and we will get. All right, but you know that's him. He shouldn't have been under the camera, under on, on the no mic. He should just let Beyonce handle that, or her representatives who are legal. Her legal beagles need to be out there making comments to the press. All right, but then it goes on to say the. The battle has been going on for nearly two years and turned particularly nasty last year with Beyonce accusing Morales of offering to sell her company for $10 million to the singer. Morales denied the allegations. Okay, so, you know, maybe it was true. Maybe not. Maybe somebody had dropped the tea, but it didn't come out like on a table where they were sitting there trying to uh, follow through with it. All right. And then it says earlier this year, Morales accused Beyonce of refusing to turn over private communications. Uh, with JC and her mother, Tina knows Morales had requested a list of documents and communication from Beyonce in their trademark battle. Morales wanted uh, Beyonce to turn over all documents showing any evidence she planned to actually use the trademark Blue Ivy since Morales doesn't believe the singer ever planned to use it and any samples of her attempt to use the name. <coughs> Morales also sought all communications with Jay-Z relating to their 2016 trademark application, any communications of her 
or Jay-Z knowing about Blue Ivy before their daughter was born in February 2012, and any records of conversations with Bay and her mother about the trademark or the mark. Beyonce has refused to hand over the documents, and she demanded a protective order to be entered, which would prohibit Morales uh, or her legal team from leaking the confidential information. Morris Morales uh, recently accused Beyonce of committing fraud when she filed out when she filed the the uh, trademark application. So, ooh, yeah, this is getting nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, then it goes on to pretty much end the article there, and I'm like, ah, what is going on with this name, this blue ivy name? I mean, I don't even think Beyonce had her name trademark or do shit. I mean, do Jay-Z have his name trademark? Is the two, uh, her younger siblings, do they have their names trademark? She need to really jump on them last two, sir. And I forgot what the other baby's name. But she need to get their uh, trademarks in while she's trying to get blue eyes in so it already be taken care of. And she don't have to go through this ordeal. But I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this video. Or not necessarily what you thought about it, but the information that I put in there about this legal battle between these two powerful women, uh, you know, uh, fighting over a name. You know, I understand both sides, but I'm really leaning to the woman's side who's been in the business for 10 years plus doing her thing under that particular name, okay? And then Beyonce, you know, she had the baby. They named it, named her Blue Ivy. And now she has this whole big epiphany that she wants to take everything and, and, and trademark it under that name so nobody else can use it. I mean, the name is catchy. I kind of like it. And everything that's blue, you know, all these different shades of blue. I get it, but... I don't know, Beyonce. I'm like, the lady had it first, you know, and you're trying to swoop down on her fame and knock her out like she wasn't even there. And she's not even really in the entertainment business. She shouldn't be your arch nemesis. But anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Do y'all think Beyonce is very foul for trying to do this to this woman? Do you think this woman should just uh, bend over and get screwed by Beyonce in a sense and take a loss? Or should she continue to fight? for what she feels is rightfully hers. All right, that's all I have for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one. You know, that's me, entertainment. Bye-bye.